So this is our ingredients, guys. Our chicken, our cumin, paprika, lemon pepper, garlic herb, garlic powder, black pepper, sofrito, yes, son sofrito, sazon, lime, and an orange. So we are going to get started first by making what we call our sour orange juice. I'm showing you how to make your own because a lot of people sometimes cannot find the soft orange juice. So all you need is a nice juicy orange like you see here and a lime. And you combine those together and you have what you call a sour orange mixture. All right. I like using a lot of um, fresh ingredients, especially citrus to marinate. So here you are seeing me giving my chicken a nice bath. I have six pieces, basically three quarter legs. And I'm gonna start by seasoning with my garlic powder. Y'all know I love my garlic, I love my garlic. And every seasoning guy that doesn't have any salt, you are welcome to put as much as you like, okay? The seasoning that I always advise to be careful with is the ones that have salt with, all right? So just be careful with the salt intake, guys. So here goes the one that has salt, which is our lemon pepper. I, I always buy both of the lemon pepper, the one with salt and the one salt free so it depends what i'm in the mood for so here i'm adding here the garlic herb seasoning which has just a little tiny bit of salt it doesn't have much so that's why you see me putting a little bit more of that one <laughs> right and of course here we have the sazon the sazon is going to give it more of a, a little annually flavor and also a nice color So now I'm massaging my chicken. Make sure that all those juices are getting in. So now what I did to the, 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 the first seasoning part, I'm gonna do, repeat the same process. Okay, what, you, what love you give to the first part, you give it to the second part. <laughs> all right, I always do this guys. Also, um, while we seasoning our chicken, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you know, go ahead and subscribe. Also give this recipe a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification button, which is going to let you know every time I upload a new video, which is every Friday and Sunday, guys. And I have a lot of recipes coming your way, a lot of international recipes and desserts and drinks so don't miss out on that guys go ahead and subscribe so here i'm adding a little bit of paprika and i'm gonna go ahead and add some sofrito also if you don't know how to make um sofrito i also have a link below one of those uh recipe links below and then i show you how to make sofrito so Go ahead and check out my sofrito recipe, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and massage this chicken and make sure that everything receives the same love, both sides. So now the sofrito has blended in with the sour orange mixture. So I am going to go ahead and make sure that I cover the top of my chicken with that mixture. And guys, if you are able to marinate your meats, you know, the day before or even a couple of days before, anytime you marinate any meat, um, it's, it's, I mean, it just gives it such a wonderful result, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and coat this and then I'm gonna put it to bake at 350 degrees, all right? So here, my, my chicken has been baking at 350 degrees for at least 45 minutes and now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it and also guys the whole time I'm cooking my chicken I like to always keep a little bit of that broth 
under so if it's i see it's getting a little dried out i go ahead and add more water to it to keep the momentum going right so here you see i'm turning it and i'm gonna go ahead now on the other side i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of paprika on the top which it gives itself such a nice texture um, on the outside and color and if you want to add some paprika to it with the parsley go ahead and do so um i'm on this chicken i'm just adding fresh parsley at the end so here i this way i lost my footage guy here it was kind of dry out so i went ahead add a little bit more water created a little bit more liquid and i baste the top of it let it cook a little bit longer and this is my final result and it was delicious okay guys thank you for stopping by and i will see you on the next recipe have a wonderful day